Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3, part of our Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough with Water Shepard. I was taking a look at our war terminal. Nothing really changed as far as our total military strength from the last video. We are going to have to go back and defuse a bomb that Cerberus is currently in control of on Tachanka. So I imagine doing that will help our Krogan war assets. I just wanted to point out that the Krogan are almost a better force than all of the Terminus fleet <laughs> backing us up here. So you may not like my decisions in the story so far, but the Krogan are really pulling through for the home team at the moment. Just a reminder, I thought it was really weird that at the end of the last episode, we just came back up to the Normandy. They were like, there's a bomb on the planet and we got to destroy it. And I was literally like, OK, I'll see you at evac or something. I'll see you there at the finish line. And then we came back on board. Uh, it seems like there's a little bit of a disconnect there with that dialogue. Anyway, we talked to the Primarch Victus here. We're going to go back down and try to help his son defuse that bomb that's on Tachanka. And hopefully, hopefully then after that, we can send out the genophage here. Let me just pick the same two characters for every mission. Normandy shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th platoon. Do you copy? Roger that. We hear you, 9th platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. Oh my god. It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. Well, that was a mistake, don't you think? Are you regretting that mistake now? It seems like you guys have a really hard time trusting alliances. I know there was a Krogan rebellion. Okay, I get that. But look where it got us now. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. It's going to feel weird keeping this from Rex as well. What do we tell him we were doing down on the planet? Oh, you know, just a little sightseeing. I added a scope onto our Matic 2. This is one of our assault rifles. This is the slow, more precise one. Well, now we get a little scope with it as well, just to deal some more damage to distant foes. Let's get our sentry out. Let's get ball out. Let's get singularities flying. Let's take control of this situation, boys. Oof. In hindsight, I remembered why I didn't like the scopes. God damn, there's a lot of artillery fire right now. Was this cover? We're getting heavy resistance. Cerberus has portable cover? We're on the move. Oh, and a shield generator in the back here. What is this bugging? Get me out of here. Oh, I really like the small little... Uh, the the nice touch of being able to actually see the attachments we put on our weapon when i reload look at our barrel extender look at the scope on top which of course we could zoom in with now very cool that we actually see that in play oh my god there's so many fucking explosions is it over are we out of that hell <laughs> God, I can see why people get shell shock. Is it really like that? I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Okay, moving up the ramp in the back, we find the shotgun blade attachment on the ground. Also, more troopers Understood. for Cerberus are here. We'll just lift that guy up behind his cover, hit him with a concussive blast no as well. You guys know the drill by now. We control areas with Liara, and there's not too much they, that they can actually do about it. Gonna try to overload the guy in the back. Looks like it actually connects too, which I wasn't expecting. 
because of the blast of the guy who's trying to climb over the wall there. I'm specifically trying to aim for that engineer in the back at the moment. These, th this precise weapon really lends itself really well to having a scope on it. I think this is a pretty fun combination. The turret in the back is already taking a pretty big beating. Unfortunately, I miss the uh, incinerate on it. What if we throw a sentry back there? Yeah, then we have it. And, uh, you know, get ball back there, too. I'm sure between the two of them, they'll figure out some way of taking that turret. <laughs> All right, looks like most of the enemy is reinforcing from the left side here. Singularity on the guy with the shield. We're just going to strip him of that really quickly. This assault trooper looks like he might be... I was thinking he might be trying to get to that shield generator in the back, but not the smartest one in the bunch. Fought just outside of its range. On the ground in the back, Rosenkov Material Gauntlets. As we turn the corner... the Krogan and then plant a bomb on their planet. Pretty extreme, but those were desperate times. After all this, to lose everything in a flash... Yeah, that would really suck. Monstrous. I hope we get there in time. I truly do. You guys know how much the genophage has bothered me since the beginning of the game. I talk about it all the time. I really want to help the Krogan. All right, easy singularity into some free headshots on that dude. And we repeat it yet again. Shields on the Centurion. I tried to overload. Don't have a line of sight just yet. He's staying pretty low behind his cover in the back, although that was until he just blindly ran out. You really should have thought that through, my dude. They're taking an alternative route. I didn't hear why. Are they overrun again? I can't see much pushing through smoke here. Voices may be on the other side of the wall. I'm getting a lot of Cerberus radio chatter. They're, pre They're preparing for evac. It looks like we're seeing that here. I'm going to start by overloading their shield pylon. I don't want them using that. By taking that over, we strip them of their sh <laughs> Is that the concussive blast? Oh no, he's just jetpacking off concussive blast! Fuck that! You guys are not getting out of here that easy! Yeah, you better leave! That's actually sick. Whoa, that was really cool. <laughs> it looks like that evac left really early as there were still troops on the ground over here. Let's get the singularity lifting him up. I see a trooper in the back. I was a little afraid it was an engineer. Doesn't look like that was the case. Yo! Using a precise assault rifle feels really good. I think I, I, I think I found it really jarring in our... Oh, it looks like there was an evac in the back. Fuck. I found it really jarring in our videos where we zoomed in like eight times with the sniper rifle, but this nice little four times, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. You guys can let me know what you think of it. A few members of Cerberus were able to get away, but that's okay. That's how you get your stories told it remained undetected throughout so the galaxy. Long. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. So that's the bomb there. Victor knows what he's doing. We won't get a second chance. Yeah, I hope he knows we what he's doing too. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. I'm climbing a ladder. We're on our way. At the top of a la ladder, sniper rifle concentration the module. Evacuating. The bomb should be clear. I don't think so. I'm guessing they'll bring out the big gun. What was that? Was that a big gun? Did he call it? It looks like we weren't going to be able to stop all of these evacuations, even if we ran up super quick. I didn't even see any units getting on that last transport. It just kind of shot off into the distance. Let's see, see these two guys, where were they running to? Turian technology, we get a few credits off of that. Engineer in the back, and it looks like he did manage to get a turret down. We're gonna strip those shields, send in ball to get its attention. Line of sight, line of sight, line of sight. Sentry in the back. And where's that engineer? Let's lift him up. One quick shot to the head is enough to, to totally reveal his health bar. Get rid of those shields so easy. 
turret control schematics. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. No good now. We already have one of those. Couldn't it just make ours better? Damn it! Tuberus has a head start. We're close. Come on. More evacuating from the side here. That was such a cool view. Okay, I think I've finally arrived. Those are our friends over there. Let's see what they're looking at. It looks like this one's just shaking. Like he's shooting a gun, but he doesn't have a gun in his hand. Okay. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Can you do this? Because I'm the best goddamn engineer in the galaxy. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. All right, we have your back. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Oh! Fuck! Oh! Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. What, do they have a sniper? Let's pause time really quickly. Lieutenant Victus has a health bar at the top left. We see ammo located along the left side. Along the right side, we see our first assault trooper. Let's start with a singularity on him. I'm also going to start with a throw of my sentry into that opening so my sentry can watch that entire right side, or at least that is Nobody gets past the Clear? plan. No Clear. one gets past us. That's easy to do. That guy was frozen. Oh, that means the freeze on my sentry turret actually worked. Okay, I'm going to move up a little bit. I don't want to expose a flank here. Protective. But I will bounce back and forth between these two sides. Looks like we have a drop off of troops in the back left corner. I see a trooper as well as another. Let's concuss the right. Lift the or, concuss the left. Lift the right. Excuse me. No engineers being dropped, so all of those guys are just stuck inside of that singularity. We'll drop a sentry at their feet, and it should. It didn't do anything. <laughs> Who am I kidding, dude? It didn't do anything. Get a singularity up there. I saw some shields for a brief moment, but it looks like we, we were able to grab a few of them. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna shock the shields off of the centurion, sit them down with a nice concussive blast, and as these guys come down from their little ship, we'll just deal with them one at a time. Are you gonna send left side now? I'm ready! <laughs> we'll just put singularity up there. <laughs> Not letting up. They're gonna land a concussive blast. Who's this guy? Let's overload him. This is so fucking stupid. How strong Singularity is. What the fuck? Understood. Did anyone play this game? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. They finally sent in the big gun after those drops didn't make a dent. Here we go. We're going to start with distracting with the ball. We're going to send in a sentry turret right next to this guy. Warp ammo should do bonus damage to... Hmm, weaken the armor. Okay, so it's not going to do anything to shield. So that's still on me. Our cooldowns are going to be back up in just a second. Now we start with overloads on our main target here as we're backing away. The overload's already starting to eat through the shields of the atlas one more overload should do it we have reinforcements now let's get a singularity up there let's get an overload up there so we catch all of them <laughs> get through his shields too you're not coming down you're not coming down ball has disappeared we're bringing in a new ball on this guy let's also put a more aggressive sentry turret down uh liara has been taken down so we're gonna res her back Get her back in combat as fast as possible. I'm just going to send an incinerate straight ahead. Oh, why is Victus taking damage? It's because they're shooting rockets over the wall at him. All right. Well, we're not delaying anymore. Get another singularity in the back. We'll get a knockdown back there, too. Some quick shots into the ass of that guy. And we did it. Commander, He's safe. Firewall's down. I'm in. Spirits. Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. 
It's set to detonate! Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! Like detonate. manually? Watch your step. Uh, are you about to get dropped, bud? His dying act was to ensure that he didn't slaughter thousands of Krogan. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. It did. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. I'm sure that'll be fun to tell him. He never hesitated. No, he didn't. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. I know all about Moving pleasing hard bunches. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. Yeah. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. I think the Genophage cure could go a long way Back to keeping out. the peace. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. I agree with that. All right, guys, we need to move on, okay? Let's focus up. Like you said, this was a decision made hundreds of years ago, all right? We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb at Tachanka. And Rex? In the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. Hey, that went well. We do. I understand your reservations before, Commander, but I hope you now understand the secrecy. You paid a high fucking price for that secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Oh! Yes. The hardest lesson I've ever uh, learned. Uh, that felt terrible. Oh, that felt horrible to say. Why was that the top option? That was awful. Oh my God. My son. Oh, 
Sorry, that was my well, alarm just went off. It was time to take my medicine. Men. I wanted to thank you for that. Your sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. God, that felt terrible. Yo, I'm gonna ask for forgiveness in the comments for what I just said to that man. He did not fucking deserve that. That was awful. Ugh. Okay. We have a few missions in our log right now. Priority to Chanka is the one that brings the story forward, I believe. These other ones, I don't really think I can do other than turning in the automated turret schematics. I talked about this a lot in another video and then I ended up uh, editing it out, but I, I'm really frustrated by the journal in this game where it's just like someone on the Citadel wants those turret schematics. I mean, that's okay. It gets me back on the Citadel. It gets me looking around. But like stuff like this, I, I can't even go to this planet yet. Irune does not exist on my map. Why, why is that even there? So here's what we'll do. I'm going to go through my personal messages on our computer, see if any other things pop up. If something really grabs my attention, we'll do that before issuing out the genophage cure. But for now, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. See you again tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care. Feed the fish. Feed the fish. Feed the fish. And have a good night.